Hey, it's Ryan from Muffet Supply, and we just took possession of this 2016 Ram ProMaster City, and uh, it already has an upfit on it, but we're actually going to tear it out and do another one to it. Oh, this is actually pretty low mileage, and um, but the only reason that we bought this one and bought in every other van is to show you how to install the products that we offer and sell, and uh, give you overview of, and see what those products look like on video and photos and so on. And so this is just another one to add to the collection of uh, vehicles that you can upfit and make work ready. So we're just gonna give you a little tour of what we got going on here um, so far. Um, this, like I said, it already has an upfit. This has a bulkhead in it that I actually kind of like. We don't sell it, um, but it's a fabric bulkhead on this side, matches the fabric on the ceiling. Um, and then on the other side, it's actually steel. Uh, but you can see, it's kind of banged up. The thing you're gonna notice about this is it was probably owned by a tradesman painter because there's just paint spilled everywhere. You know, even on these seats here, you know, paint on the clothing or on the hands or whatever just got all over the seats. Should have had some uh, seat protectors on those. The other thing they have are these just universal uh, floor mats and they're kind of shoved in there, wrinkled along. I actually took it out of the driver's side because it, was so close to just interfering with a pedal it just felt super dangerous so I took that out um, so we're gonna put in some seat covers some new floor liners there probably go with the weather tech again um, back here the thing about the ProMaster City here I'll go in the back and see a little bit better is I'm pretty sure from the factory these things just come with a bare sheet metal floor you know the Transit Connect has a vinyl floor from the factory and usually it just comes like this um, ProMaster and this guy he just took a piece of cheap carpet and glued it to the bottom and you can tell he spilled paint a few times and uh, if I go up here you can see that it's just underneath here as well so uh, you know I'm gonna be looking forward to tearing this carpet out tearing out this shelf you know it's already starting to, to rust and all that you know, now this is a, so it's a 2016 model. It probably was out in 15, so we're talking eight years old at this point in time. Um, when I show you the ladder, I can see some corrosion and rust on there too. Um, so, you know, I don't know what was going on here, why this is so rusty inside the vehicle. Uh, but we're gonna tear this uh, little piece of junk out and put in some nice shelving. Um, still not 100% sure on the update yet, but we're gonna do liners and floor. Um, some shelving we're gonna put in a couple different partitions so you can see what that looks like um, but yeah this is how it comes to us paint everywhere um, you know all the ProMaster sittings are, are dual sliding this actually has the, the glass delete on the side doors but they kept it in the back which I don't quite understand why they did that nice thing about these dual sliding doors is one of them you can put a shelf in front of and you can get access to it from the side door it's kind of nice with the dual sliding door now, like I mentioned, this has the rear glass. What I don't get is they have a full partition, with no window, perforation, anything. So you don't really get the advantage of the glass in the back. You just get all the disadvantages of, you know, people walking by, peering in the window, seeing, you know, how many thousands of dollars worth of tools and equipment you have back here. So we're actually gonna put in a uh, window guard, um, steel window guard, which is useful, you know, for protecting valuables as well as it's a nice little feature for organizing bungee cords and spray bottles and all that kind of stuff. So this is, you know, what we got going on in the back. Um, up top, we actually sell this rack. Um, it's a Cargo Master, or now it's Holman, but at the time it was a Cargo Master, Cargo style rack. This is a steel, and unfortunately, um, in Michigan, when you go with things like steel rack over eight years, you do have to deal with salt and corrosion and winters and all of that. But the amazing thing is, is these little ratchet straps still work. Ugh, come on. Still works fine after eight Michigan winters. So that tells you something about the quality of the product on that side. You know, what are you going to expect when you put a piece of steel on the roof in, in Michigan? I mean, this, this van is starting to rust in some places as well. Um, you know, exterior, it's not too bad. The wheels, 
you know, this is a painted steel wheel, so you're starting to get some corrosion here around the sides. It's one of the main differences I've noticed between the ProMaster City and the Transit Connect is Transit Connect still has a steel wheel, but they put a plastic hubcap over it, so when it does rust, you don't really see it. Whereas with these painted wheels, um, you do see it. Um, so just like the Extreme Home Makeover, we made sure it was nice and dirty, salty, gross for this little video so you can see the before and after after we get done with the outfit. We got stuff on the way. Be sure to check out uh, our YouTube channel or just um, Upfit University on upfitsupply.com to see what we do with this van.